Hello and welcome to this Office Word tutorial from the SJBC Microsoft Office 2010 course in D2L. This tutorial is specifically for our math instructors out there who are frustrated with using prog programs like uh, TestGen or ExamView because of the limited number of uh, exam questions available and the lack of any real organization that makes sense to you. A lot of times we want to just write a quick quiz on the fly or write a really quick uh, test without having to use all the extra uh, software. If you've ever tried to write equations in Word in the past, uh, it was very difficult to format them uh, with any real simplicity. It was not intuitive how to do superscripts like this x squared here, how to do fractions. Um, we used to have to do them with the division symbol or the, or the forward slash rather than have the ability to use a, an actual equation editor. And if you take a look at this divide and simplify question here, it was done in an old format where our two rational expressions are actually pictures. You can tell they're pictures because I can do all kinds of really crazy stuff with them that don't have anything to do with them being a word and they're separated with this little division symbol that just kind of really looks out of place. This is not a very good solution and so I wanted to show our math instructors some features in Word that exist today um, that make writing equations like this one or, f or expressions like this one uh, much easier. Here I have a document that I used in my Math 122 class that actually takes advantage of Word's equation tool in order to write expressions. Uh, notice I have expressions written here that are not pictures. If I were to click on that, I don't get something that I can scale around and move and rotate or whatever. So now let me show you how to use Word to uh, create an expression like the one we did. Let's create a new page here and I will paste the uh, picture that we had from the uh, previous page put it here as a reference this is the f this is the uh, expression the rational expression that we're going to recreate using words embedded equation editor so to find Microsoft Word's equation editor you go to the insert tab on the on the um, ribbon let's bring this a little higher so here's the insert tab and notice on the insert tab you can insert pages, tables, illustrations, links group, you have a header and footer group, you have a text group, and finally all the way at the end you have something called a symbols group which includes symbols and our good friend here equations. Now using the equation editor I click on the link and it gives me all kinds of really nice options. I can create frameworks for fractions for superscripts, for radicals, for all kinds of great different math functions. Um, since this is going to be a rational expression that includes uh, superscripts, uh, numbers raised to a different power, exponents, whatever you want to call them, we're going to start by using our fraction editor. Notice here that it gives us this little framework to work with. So we'll use our fraction editor and you can show your fractions in different w uh, ways. You can use the slashes or you can use the common stacked fraction this is a favored among uh, math instructors so in my using my stacked fraction I can begin typing the uh, expression in the numerator to type an expression or I'm sorry a, a, a variable here with a um, with an exponent I will use the script box and choose the superscript. I can also do a subscript or a mixed number or all kind of have different kinds of uh, options there. But for now, let's go ahead and use the superscript. Notice that there are common ones that are suggested for you to use and in fact we are going to do x squared here. So we'll just put x squared right in there and then I can hit the dash symbol for the minus. It appropriately puts the correct spacing in there and I will put 16. So that's my numerator. It is x squared minus 16. 
Now that I have my numerator all set, I have this big long denominator I want to put in, and so I'll go ahead and click on the little square that's our little placeholder for the denominator. Here I want to again have a superscript because I have an x squared as the first term there. So I'll go back to my script editor. It is the same as before, so I'm going to go ahead and use my common script, or if I wanted I could write the script in myself by choosing the, the superscript uh, from the first menu option. I can type an X for the base. I can type A2 for the uh, exponent. And now my first term is ready and I can continue the rest of the polynomial. I can have, I can type in a shift equal sign which is a plus 18X. Notice that it, it automatically uh, italicizes the variables for you which is a nice feature. You don't have to go back in and do that later, plus the 81. And now my equation is uh, ready to go. I'm sorry, my expression is ready to go. Uh, you might ask, well, why is it so tiny? And the reason it's so tiny is because of the font size. I can use my uh, Cambria Math font and change it to any, diff any size that I wanted, as big as 72 if I needed to. So. Uh, if we want to make it at least as big as the picture that we have right here, and m mind you, I sized this picture up, I can use somewhere in the area of a 26 to 28 point font. Um, the, the default setting is to set the equation right in the middle of the page, but using your equation tools, by clicking the drop down menu on the right side of the equation, I can go to my equation options and I can change it there from being centered to an inline which will move it over to the left side of the page automatically or I can uh, I can change the way that it's displayed this is the called the professional uh, display I can also do it to a linear display and notice it looks a lot more familiar that way these were the character limitations in previous versions of Word but now uh, we have this professional setting that allows it to sh us to show it the way we, our students are familiar with us writing it on the board. So that's how you edit an equation in Microsoft Word. You can edit equations in PowerPoint and Outlook as well. All, as always, if you have any questions, please uh, use the discussion forum. If there are specific kinds of equations you'd like to practice putting on the, onto the Microsoft Word page, let me know and I will be more than glad to show you how to do that. Uh, this is Al Rodriguez signing off.